Hi, I'm Brian Moran, founder of Government CIO. Welcome to Government CIO Magazine. Hi, this is Hillary Wax with Government CIO Magazine. Today we are interviewing John Hannon, the Chief Information Security Officer at the Government Printing Office. The Government Printing Office was established over 150 years ago, and we opened our doors for business on the same day that Abraham Lincoln was inaugurated as president. And the GPO's mission is to uh, provide access to government publications to citizens and our stakeholders. And in doing that, we do work for all three branches of the federal government, legislative, executive, and judicial. We've recently moved into mobile applications to allow citizens and consumers to get our publications in a convenient format and examples of applications uh, and mobile applications that we've recently deployed uh, relate to the uh, daily compilation of presidential documents and the president's budget. I would cite three. One, uh, a continuous log monitoring of events, which provides a key control to give us quick visibility on any issues that might arise, and it also is, moves us towards uh, real-time continuous situational awareness in accordance with the NIST risk management frameworks. The second thing uh, that I would cite is uh, we've recently enhanced our virus and malware detection and prevention capabilities uh, to deal with the increasingly sophisticated malware that is um, present on the internet. And then the third thing that I would cite is uh, full disk encryption to provide protection for our data to prevent it from being exposed um, should laptops be lost or stolen. We've deployed that across all of our laptop fleet. I would go back to the continuous log event monitoring system that I mentioned earlier because we've achieved substantial cost savings compared to the um, alternative of hiring a large complement of staff and acquiring and maintaining a large complement of hardware and software to su infrastructure to support that service via our use approximately six years ago of a cloud-based service to provide that function for us. So that's achieved some significant cost savings over that time horizon. I would say that there are many, uh, but to highlight a couple of them, I would say mobile device security is certainly a challenge, and that's uh, as a result of the evolving standards for technology around um, mobile devices. Um, as, as they are evolving and those standard, uh, standards for technology are evolving, the security standards have to adapt and keep pace with that. So that's certainly going to be a challenge over the coming few years. Um, and then another thing I would say as a, as a, as a big challenge for um, CISOs is this increasingly sophisticated nature of malware that is um, presenting itself on the uh, internet uh, where it's very stealthy, hard to detect, users don't even understand it's happening. Uh, so those are a couple of the uh, big challenges. I would add one uh, third challenge, and that is uh, distributed denial of service attacks and the increasing amount of network traffic that attackers and hackers can muster to send to your internet-facing websites to try to disable or disrupt access to that website. That's also a challenge that is going to be with us for um, the coming couple of years. And I think that's an area where innovation in the network service provider arena could provide some help to uh, CISOs and practitioners of network security. That's a great question. I think there are at least a couple of angles to this. The first angle relates to ensuring that you're using encryption to protect the agency data that may be stored on the mobile device and also to use encryption and mutual authentication 
between that mobile device and the agency's network to ensure that unauthorized devices can't connect and you know which device you're um, connecting to and, and sending data to over the airwaves. So though that's one key angle. I think another angle that's important relates to looking to deploy and implement solutions that allow agency users to connect securely using a non-agency computer or device when that situation arises, which it often can in, um, in, in the mobile workforce of today's world. So providing that kind of capability for connecting using a non-agency computer in a secure manner provides flexibility, and that kind of flexibility is important and will, I think, be even more important as time goes on. I would say that the uh, use and looking to leverage cloud-based services is something that private industry has been doing and of course the federal government has been aggressively looking at how to do that too. So I would cite that as an example of a best practice because there are a potential service delivery improvements that can happen as well as potential cost savings and as I mentioned before with our continuous log event monitoring system, there are definitely cost savings to be achieved. The other thing I would say in this regard is related to that, and it relates to certification of vendor providers um, that provide this sort of uh, capability, looking for independent uh, certification to ensure that service providers meet the security control requirements of the federal government, and that's akin to what the private sector has done for a long time, especially in financial services, with independent audits of uh, providers. So uh, that's something the FedRAMP program is actively working on, and that's going to be very beneficial for all of us in the federal uh, agency community, especially the CISO community. Well, it's made it more imperative that the security team be involved at the very beginning of the development process. Um, with agile development, the, the development cycle is very compressed, so if there are any security planning omissions or mistakes or security architectural uh, omissions, it's uh, much more difficult and time consuming to, uh, to uh, change those and to affect the right kind of uh, approach. And of course, with a agile development cycle where the cycles compress that can really throw off the project plan. So uh, it's, it's really made it imperative and important that security teams be involved closely with the development teams at the beginning of the development cycle, but that's a good thing. That's uh, something that is improving and is being enhanced. Um, every day and I would really credit uh, Department of Homeland Security for their efforts in this regard. They have really, I think, uh, provided an effective outreach and uh, communications hub for federal agencies in this regard and I think that they're on a good tra trajectory in how they are uh, fostering collaboration. In the legislative branch we have uh, been working collaboratively together for a number of years and we continue to do that and look for ways to enhance that. We've also uh, it enhanced our communications with the other branches of government in this regard and again the DHS outreach has certainly helped us to do that. I think that um, social media tools um, tailored to this provide some interesting opportunities as we look to the future to how to be even more effective and um, reduce the cycle times for information to get um, across um, our CISO community. At this stage, mobile device security, uh, I would mention as uh, definitely on the horizon, uh, leveraging back and circling back to some of the um, things I've talked about earlier. Um, that is definitely going to be um, on the uh, calendar for uh, the year 2013 as we watch technology standards continue to evolve and the marketplace to provide different um, software uh, solutions for us to be able to look to uh, leverage and deploy. The other thing that um, uh, I would say on the horizon for 2013 is uh, the uh, 
ability to detect and prevent malware as it becomes more sophisticated. I think one of the uh, interesting and uh, developments in this area is the use of in-memory detection software tools that the marketplace is delivering because that is where most malware or a, a, a segment of malware that's very hard to detect um, hides on the computer. So there are some interesting and exciting uh, software tools coming out that allow uh, practitioners to look to detect that kind of malware. And so I think that's something I'll be keeping my eye on as 2013 goes along. I would say that the thing I'm uh, the most proud of and I think has been the biggest accomplishment is uh, with the support of the senior agency management here at GPO, which I've been very fortunate and grateful to have received through my whole tenure here, is to uh, is the comprehensive nature of the security program we put in place, which is one of the challenges with IT security and information security is it covers such a broad spectrum. We put a really comprehensive program in place that uh, we'll need to continue to adapt and uh, uh, to the threat uh, environment as we look forward. But I'm really proud of the fact we put a comprehensive uh, program in place. The other thing, a couple of other things I'd like to mention are the uh, certification of our public key infrastructure service by the federal PKI uh, program office. Uh, for providing PKI services to federal agencies. Public key infrastructure is a electronic uh, identity uh, credentialing service uh, that uh, provides and allows for agencies to consider moving manual and paper-based processes into electronic processes because of the services that a public key infrastructure can provide for identity management and trust within an electronic framework. So I'm, I'm proud of that accomplishment that we've made at GPO and for the value that we provide to all of our agency customers for PKI. On PKI, we uh, were honored to receive in uh, 2012 the PKI Four Bridges Forum Award for PKI Business Value. Uh, and that was a, quite an accomplishment, I think, for our PKI program at GPO. Last thing I'd like to mention is uh, the launch and implementation in 2008 of our PDF authentication program for providing authenticated PDF documents uh, on our uh, uh, web portal, federal digital system, providing assurance that citizens have obtained the uh, PDF file that GPO issued.